What's going on, people? I'm doing some new things in my garden this year. I'm doing a hydroponic garden, and I'm growing a lot of fresh vegetables. And I wanted to do something different with zucchini. You know, you can always saute zucchini, or you can fry it, or you can boil it, you know. So I wanted to make some zucchini bread, and I saw some recipes online that I was going to kind of try and see how they how they worked out. This ain't going to be healthy. This is, this is going to be one. So if you're on a no-bread diet, just go ahead and turn this off. This is going to have flour in it. Which flour doesn't agree with me very much, but you know, I'll make it for my employees or my receptionists and my wife won't even eat it, you know, but I'll eat a piece of it, but I'll probably share it with other people. And that's, that's what the big gift is, is sharing with everybody. So y'all just kind of watch and see if you learn something. All right. These are our ingredients right here, guys. We're going to have, um, um, as far as our wet ingredients, we're going to have our grated, um, zucchini. We're going to, that's about two cups of grated zucchini. I've already grated it. I've got about one medium onion um, grated as well, too. Some of our dry ingredients include, um, we've got some, uh, a teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of uh, bacon powder, teaspoon of bacon soda, two teaspoons of cinnamon, one, about half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and about a half a teaspoon of pepper as well, too. We've got three eggs. We've got, it calls for like two cups of sugar. I just didn't want that much doggone sugar in it. So I only use, I'm only going to use one cup of sugar and one cup of, um, of, of safflower oil. Or you can use any type of vegetable oil. And you're going to use three cups of all-purpose flour. All right, we've got two loaf pans here, and we're just going to take some cooking spray and spray them down here. We want to add some flour to them to lightly flour them, but we don't want the flour to accumulate, so we're just going to lightly flour them so that it kind of sticks to the inside. Okay, we've got our flour in there. We're just going to lightly flour them, guys. And then you take the excess, you want to take that excess and just kind of toss it out. You don't want to keep that. And that's going to kind of provide a kind of a non-stick, which you would think that the um, spray would cause non-stick as well. All right, and that's what they look like afterwards. All right, we're going to take our dry ingredients here. Our three cups of flour and all of our cinnamon and pepper. Some of my some of my vanilla extract spilled in there, but you know, it's all going down the same way as what I say. And we're just gonna mix all that up thoroughly. Now this is bread flour right here, but you can use all-purpose flour. I think the only difference is the rise that you get. Um, and from what I've been seeing online, it's going to be about the same. They rise with all-purpose flour. I think it's a little bit higher. You get a little bit more mounding, but the actual bread looks about the same. And I'm sure it tastes about the same as well, too. We'll find out. <laughs> okay, next we're going to take our wedding greens. we got our three eggs in there. Got our... One cup of oil, got our vanilla extract, again a little bit went into flour somewhat, and we got our sugar somewhere, where'd it go? We got our sugar somewhere y'all, just gotta find it, there we go, and we got our sugar. We'll mix this up thoroughly. Now you, if you've got a mixer, you can do it that way, I've got one, I just don't know what the heck it is right now. We'll come back once that's nice and mixed, which is good and mixed now for the most part. Now we're going to add our sugar mixture to our flour. Get all of that out of there. It already smells good. Okay. 
And we're going to mix this thoroughly. Getting all that stuff incorporated here. Now look at it. It looks kind of like peanut butter, don't it? Okay. Okay, now we will add our onions to it. And the good thing about the zucchini and the onions, they'll add a little bit more moisture to them. Both both the onions and the zucchini have moisture. So look, see all that fluid in there? So that's, that'll just make our bread mixture a lot more moist. Okay, gonna mix all that together thoroughly. I don't know what we're gonna have after we get through with this. To be honest with you guys, looks like we're gonna have a mess, but we will see. Just mix it up real thoroughly, and I can feel the moisture coming out of that zucchini. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But it was kind of feeling tough, y'all. You know, I was like, man, I done messed up, y'all. Knew I had hadn't done this before. I got a messed up, but now I ain't messed up. Yeah, that's the consistency it was in the video I was watching. Now, this is kind of all new to me. I just try stuff. You know, and that's, that's kind of what you got to do in life. You got to try stuff. And that's about the consistency you want. And we're going to add it to our bowls. All right, we want to put about half in each one of these here. Three, four, go here, one, two, three, four. This one's probably going to hold mo much more. So we'll probably end up putting a lot more in that one. Wait until this is done. It smells delicious. Cause I'm, I came home and started making this and I didn't make dinner. And my wife is eating this. I haven't eaten. Okay, then we're gonna add this to our preheated 325 degree oven. And we're gonna see what we're gonna come out with, guys. Add this to the oven here. Put it in the center. And you're going to cook that for 40 to 60 minutes. Then we'll see what we end up with. All right. It's been about 40 minutes. Let's see what we're looking like. Ooh, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Now, the true test is um, sticking a, a stick in it or a toothpick in it to make sure it doesn't come out. Make sure it comes out. Dry and it's not ready. Look, see how it's shaking. So we're gonna cook it a little bit longer. That one's kind of shaky too. So we're gonna cook it another 15 minutes. All right, let's try it again. All right, now that looks a whole lot better right there. A whole lot better. It's not all shaky and stuff. Let's see here. That, looks good. that one's not quite done. I think that one is done though, but that one's still kind of shaky. And let's do the true test here. Yeah, see it's kind of still kind of wet, so we're gonna let that go another 10 minutes or so. All right, so it's been about an hour now. Let's check on it again. Surely it's gotta be done this time. And don't call me Shirley. All right, try the true test here. I'm gonna put one through here. I still think that may have to go a little bit longer. Yeah, I think it probably still needs to go 
Just a little bit longer, guys. All righty. Third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. It's got some nice brown to it now. It's got to be done now, y'all. It has got to be done. Oh, yeah. That one's clear. See, that's clear. And that one's clear, too. Let me go in another place. Yep. So we can take them out. All righty. We're going to take those out and let them rest for about... Um, 10 or 15 minutes or so, let them cool down somewhat. Then we're going to put them on a, um, a rack so they can continue to cool down. And then they'll be ready to eat. Alrighty, we've taken them out of the pans. Now the one in the glass pan, a little bit of it stuck on the side, but the one in the metal pan came out perfectly. I mean, you can't really see anything in there. The one here, maybe I didn't grease this one enough, but... Um, it came out fine except for one little corner and I tasted it. Oh my God, it is delicious. Even with the onions, people questioned me about putting the onions in it, but it was delicious. And I, how can you have zucchini without onions? So this was a success guys. And, um, I'm going to have to try this again without the onions in it, but it's delicious with the onion. So try it. If you don't like it, don't, tr don't use it that way. Some people even said you can put nuts and things like that in it. So, but this came out perfectly. I love it. I'll be doing it again. Peace.